Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is David. Today, I will be showing you how to play Super Nintendo on your PSP. Um, you're going to need to download this. I will provide a a download link to download this file in the description. And of course, you're going to need your ROM or your game. Now, I'm I'm not going to provide a link for that because of like the copyright stuff. And believe it or not, I am a YouTube partner, so you know, just Google it SNES ROMs or um, you know. I'll post a link about the le the legal use of using ROMs in the description. So, anyways, um, you do need custom firmware for this, so make sure your PSP is hacked. Uh, I'm running 6.60 Pro. So, once you get that, these two files downloaded, or your the emulator itself in your game, whatever game you want, connect your PSP. I've done that here. So, you're going to want to open it and navigate into PSP and game you're going to want to open up the emulator and inside you'll see the s9xtyl file or whatever go back here you're going to dra drag this file inside of your game folder of your PSP memory card alright so there's that now the game um, to get the game on there go inside and of the folder where we dragged our game in and we're going to want to make a new folder to put our games in there you can name it ROMs or games you can name it anything you want actually it doesn't matter I'm just gonna name it games open that and then open up the game you downloaded it should be a zip file and there you see Super Mario World is the game I chose for this tutorial so drag that over that's it. Okay, now I will see you at the PSP. Okay, so once you have the PSP disconnected, um, go over to your games on your memory card, and there you will see the emulator. Go ahead and start that up. And if you can't see this, um, go into full screen. There's really nothing I can do about this, guys, because my screen recorder is in um. 1080p and this camera is only like 360p so yeah um, you have to scroll all the way down here and when you get it there press X or circle when you first start it up anyways alright so um right here go inside the folder we made right there called games and in this simulator circle use circle as the action button instead of X so circle and there's here you should find all of your games so go ahead and hit circle to run them yeah. and there you go start button so you can go ahead and play some Super Mario World this emulator runs really good no lag um, here I'll go through some of the settings real quick um, these are game options there's load new game reset the Nintendo um, make the default settings that or whatever which you can mess with this I don't mess with this at all the only option I use here is load new game here you can do save states and load states you know those people who play emulators know what that is um, you can change the controls around I like them the way they are here's where you might want to mess with right here um, some games like Donkey Kong Country are one of the games that have frame rate issues for some reason. However, I have gotten my Donkey Kong Country at 100% speed on this, and I'll show you that like at the end of this video if you're interested. Um, press X to go back to the game. As you see right here, there's um the cropping on the side because this is a 4x3 game. You can stretch it to full screen by pressing circle on where it says video mode and go up to full screen and there you go I don't like to play like that really because it just looks stretched so I just go to zoom 4x3 also you can do like smoothing limit FPS speed limit frame skip all that stuff v-sync all, all this on here doesn't matter and I just leave the sound alone and here's like cheats and stuff like that which I don't know how to use because I've never like been one to cheat in Super Nintendo games because you you have save states already so like how else 
like what is is there you know you probably crash your game if you try to use cheats so yeah that's about it all right here's um video of donkey kong running at full speed on here And see, it's incredibly smooth, which, oh shit, um, it's really smooth, which is good, Exclu excuse my, um, bad gameplay, I'm playing through the viewfinder here, so yeah, um, if you wanna see the settings I have for this, I just have everything the same except for this, um, I have the speed limit FPS to 60, frame skip 1, and V-Sync, yes, everything else will leave the same, and you'll get a perfect speed, um, Super speed Donkey Kong. I mean, a uh, hundred percent speed Donkey Kong. Because let me show you right here. If I load it with default settings, which I use using Square, let me just go back to war. load my thing again. You see how it runs really laggy. So, yeah. So yeah, um, this is on default settings. Run it with run this game with these settings I showed you. For other games that may lag, you will just have to mess with those on your own. It's not hard, for real. And also something I didn't show you is how to exit. Just press home twice, and press circle. That's how you exit the emulator. Also, you cannot put your PSP to sleep while you're inside the emulator. You have to exit. If you're in the emulator and you want to turn your PSP off like that. You have to exit the emulator for some reason. Alright, well that's it. This video's gone on long enough. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe once again.